We are looking at what's been happening in 2015 and what the trends are likely to be going forward, but on a global basis. And that was really highlighting some of the big differences that we see market by market, but also the similarities. And that's quite, quite an interesting point about today's market. In the last few years, we've all been driven by the same big uh, global forces, and many of those are still in play. But at the same time, it's the nuances of local markets and local economies and cities that are really coming to the fore now. So you've got a lot of different overlays that, that makes the market much more uh, interesting. Winning in Growth Cities is a report that actually tries to tap into that, looking at the mix between the forces that are driving success in the future. Because a lot of it is about scale, it's about how big you are, it's about how many industries you've got, but it's also about the quality of the environment, the quality of education, etc., and whether you can generate the sort of tech clusters and other skill clusters that will draw people in. And over and above that, really make a city somewhere that businesses want to be, and more particularly that people want to live in. In 16, it's a mix of the same old cities. It's New York, it's London, it's the big cities that are continuing to grow. From a real estate point of view, they're expensive to get into, but they have a shortage of the sort of property that people want, so there is still an opportunity. At the same time, though, people are looking around for other cities where there's slightly more value uh, for a core investor to go into, but also more growth opportunities going forward. And that might be some of the uh, second-tier US cities from larger cities such as Miami down to some of the tech cities uh, such as Austin. Or it may be within uh, Europe and within Asia, people looking down to, to other cities within China uh, to emerging markets such as India. So the, the, whole, the whole global scene is becoming more nuanced as people look around and really decide what risk they want to take for the returns that they're seeking. This type of event's really important because it, it's a melting pot for people's ideas. You've got a lot of people here who are experienced in global markets. You've got other people that are only just taking their first step. And there are people that can provide solutions, but also the people that are looking for those solutions. So I, say, I think it's a great melting pot of ideas where you can talk about different sectors that you may not be used to in your market, but also different countries, regions, etc. I think the New York event could be a step forward in that it could be a much larger event of global players. If you look at the, uh, many of the existing events that happen around the world, they're typically quite dominated by the region that people are coming from. But in New York, you may actually see more of a melting pot of people from America and from Asia and from Europe coming together in what is the biggest uh, real estate investment market at the present moment.